मॉड्यूल को सुरक्षित टचडाउन करा दिया गया है बंगाल की खाड़ी पर ये आप विजुअल देख सकते हैं खुशी की लहर वैज्ञानिकों में jubilant ambience in the mission control center here at satish dhawan space center shri harikota on your tv screens the visuals live from okay, the bay of bengal mission director this is mission director the tv d1 mission has fully accomplished its objectives the crew module has safely landed the target point mission uddeshya prapt kar liya gaya hai ab aapko sambodhit karenge isro adhyaksh Shri Has Somnath Isro has achieved a successful test vehicle flight and has moved a step closer to the prestigious Gaganyaan mission we take leave from you do continue to stay tuned for the address by secretary DOS chairman Isro Shri S Somnath aap sabhi darshakon ko shubhkamnaye hum aapse aagya lete hain sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you शिवमार शिवमार हटन हटन शिव हटन कम I'm very happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the TV D1 mission. The purpose of this mission was to demonstrate the crew escape system for the Gaganyaan program through a test vehicle demonstration in which the vehicle has gone up to a uh, Mach number which is a speed of sound slightly above that. and initiated a an abort condition for the crew escape system to function uh, it uh, took the crew escape system took the crew module away from the vehicle and uh, subsequent operations of the crew module separation from the crew escape system all the parachutes opening and touched down on in the sea at the required velocity has been very well accomplished and we have got confirmation of the data of all of this and uh, we will be further doing the uh, approach recovery operations of the crew module to be collected from the sea brought to the port by the ships that activity will continue to happen uh, till now based on the data everything has performed very nominally and perfect i will also like to tell the reason for why we had a hold uh, we initially wanted the launch to happen at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, but there was some weather related issues we have rescheduled the launch to 8:45 am but after going through the nominal lift off process there was a hold issued by the ground computer which is called the uh, automatic launch sequence computer which detected a sort of a uh, non conformance for allowing the engine to continue the thrusting to further go so this happened due to a monitoring anomaly in the system so we could identify it very very fast and correct it and uh, to make the stage ready it took some time to refill the gases and that once that has been completed we went through the proper automatic launch sequence which uh, checked the entire health of the vehicle and finally the mission computer and the ground checkout computer authorized the launch to take off which uh, released the rocket from the launch pad and subsequent activities of the flight as well as the post uh, termination about uh, sequence also got executed perfectly so i'm very happy that our team could understand uh, in case of any anomaly how to rectify, rectify and come back fast as fast and uh, congratulations to everybody uh this is a big training for the entire team here to prepare for the gaganyaan program i'm very happy that launch could take place today within the allocated launch window uh and we will come back with more analysis and data of this submission uh on uh, recovery of the crew module which is happening now we are having uh, views from uh, coming from the sea from the drones cameras which are being taking them uh before that before we get any further updates i would like to introduce the mission director sri s shivakumar 
and the director of the crew module and crew escape system uh, to you. So over to Shugama. Thank you, Chairman Minister. All centre directors, uh, senior members, MRR and FRR team, and all distinguished uh, guests. Uh, it's like no words are uh, <laughs> not coming up. Yeah. Sir, this is like, you know, uh, never before attempt. It's a bouquet of uh, three experiments put together. And we have now seen the fragrance and the, uh, the characteristics of all three systems with what we wanted to test through this experiment or this mission. The test vehicle, the crew escape system, the crew module, everything, I think we have uh, like, you know, perfectly demonstrated in the very first attempt, uh, but for the initial hitch, but that's nothing of a problem at all. All the systems performed well. I thank you for all the support provided by the entire uh, team of ISRO across all centers of uh, VSSC, LPSC, IPRC, IASU, SDSC, HSFC, etc. Thank you all, sir. It was a like, you know, penance for us for the last three, four years, and then we have reached the D-Day today. And it was a very happy occasion that we could make it on the very first attempt. Thank you. Now, uh, Mr. R. Hutton, he is the... Uh, uh, mission executive for the crew module realization and also the mission director of the Gaganyan. Excellent. Hearty congratulations to all, my dear team ISRO and team India. As uh, mission director has already said, I'm not getting any words to appreciate the whole team. In fact, it's. <laughs> As far as the Gaganyan program is concerned, this is the first major milestone. In fact, this is going to be a great motivator for all of us in the Gaganyan, cut across all the ISRO centers. And in this particular Gaganyan, the most important is the safety of the crew. And this, the safety of the crew that has been demonstrated in this excellent mission, the test vehicle mission, where we have simulated an abort and how the crew escape system carries the crew module away like a bird, like a, a bird is taking his chicken and then uh, to a safe place. You know, the Gaganian vehicle, though it is fully robust and reliable, but then we can't take anything to the chance. And therefore, if any malfunction happens, there has to be a system in the launch vehicle, which is called the crew escape, which will take the crew module away and safely take the crew module and then land. This is what exactly has been demonstrated today in this first mission of the test vehicle. So at this moment, I would like to thank and congratulate the test vehicle project team led by Mr. Shivakumar, the mission director, his vehicle director, Mr. Shumurgan, and all associated members of the project, the centers, not only from Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, cut across all the ISRO centers who have contributed for this launch vehicle. It's a novel vehicle which had been derived from the liquid propulsion, the snap-on stage of the GSW, but entirely it's a new architecture. And I also like to congratulate the escape, the escape what is made possible through the crew escape system, the team behind me, the led by Mr. Sunil, as well as Mr. Anand, yeah, and all the centers who have contributed, and the crew module. The crew module, in fact, the total assembly integration has been done by the new center, Human Space Flight Center. The young team, which are in the 20s to 25s, that age group has totally done it. Of course, there are old seniors are also there who are young at heart, who are also guided them, not only from this Human Space Flight Center, but great support from VSSC and all other centers who have contributed many systems for the crew module. So I take this opportunity to congratulate all our teams at Human Space Flight Center and all the other centers of ISRO. And also, the final leg, we have seen how the parachute got deployed at. Yes, sir. Come on. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I congratulate all the members who have participated in this mission, ADRD, as well as the DRDO agencies, as well as all the industries and uh, other agencies. So, let me thank once again and con congratulations. Thank you very much. The crew escape system is a very novel system. So, the chief of the crew escape system design, uh, Mr. Sunil. Respected uh, Chairman Isro and all senior members, directors of Senders, uh, what should I say about this launch? It's such a uh, perfect launch. Uh, we had a uh, very good lift off, and the cruise escape system has functioned as it has planned. All the four motors fired, and the crew motor has uh, come down with uh, precision. So I'd like to take this occasion to thank all of uh, the people who have worked behind this, the whole uh, team, uh, that is Team Isro, I can call. Uh, 
uh, who has supported us all through this. Uh, we took around uh, two to three months for completing all these activities at Shah and the people who have supported us and uh, getting it is done. And I thank everybody and thank you. Jai Hind. I will also request uh, the Director of the Human Space Flight Center, Mr. M. Mohan, to address very shortly. Good morning to all. Uh, uh, this has been the first opportunity for the Gaganyan mission to commence its uh, journey, a long journey in the future to come. And uh, I'm extremely happy that uh, this Gaganyan crew module, what now we are showing it live, floating in the ocean around 10 kilometers from the coast. And uh, this has been a, a great journey for the young team of HSFC who has prepared the crew module and uh, from uh, scratch to the final uh, configuration accommodating all the parachutes and all the systems and including the uh, onboard systems and uh, perfectly timing all the openings of the parachutes of the drogue chutes, the main chute and finally we were able to capture through the support of the Indian Navy who are now ready to recover the, uh, the crew module from the ocean anytime and uh, pick it up to the ship and then move it to the uh, 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 port at Chennai and we are keenly awaiting to see physically the crew module at uh, Chennai port by evening today. So let me at this occasion thank uh, all the uh, centers and uh, all, the, all the HSFC team members for having this excellent uh, performance of the first milestone, major milestone of the uh, Gaganyan program. Thank you very much. I request a director of the VSSC Center who is uh, taking the responsibility to design this new vehicle which is very unique in its configuration and shape, uh, Dr. Unikrishnan Nair. Good morning. The maiden flight of test vehicle along with crew module and crew escape system has been a total success as we have seen. All the, though this is a small vehicle, it has got all the complex systems and all the systems have worked normally. And uh, the parachute system, you could see uh, the parachute has got seven mortars and then ten parachutes. All of them worked. In fact, it is redundancy is there, but everything has worked nominally. So I thank all uh, ISRO centers, especially the Human Space Flight Center, because it is a major, major mission for the Gaganyan, all industry partners, and the ADRD as well as TBRL for the for, for the core traveling with us for the parachute system realization. Thank you. The new test vehicle, the, uh, which is a liquid engine based uh, stage, which is a very unique one. So this is the first time we have a lift off of a rocket with a liquid engine uh, firing as the booster stage. So the credit goes to LPSC, the Liquid Propulsion System Center, Dr. Narayan and director of that center. Very good morning to all of you. It's a major achievement for ISRO and India that we have successfully accomplished a major experiment of crew escape system demonstration for the Gaganyan program using a newly developed liquid propulsion based test vehicle. This is the 50th mission from the first launch pad. This mission had major new developments, the test vehicle, crew module, crew escape system, parachutes and so on. The test vehicle is a new vehicle developed using modified Vigas engine based air storable propulsion system with 19 tons of propellant. A host of new developments like the realization of the crew module, crew escape system, separation system, avionics, parachute, mission design and so on. The success of this mission is one of the major stepping stones towards the Gaganyan program. The preliminary data shows perfect understanding and demonstration of the crew escape system meant for saving the crew in case of emergency. As the director of LPSC, which developed the, the, and realized this vehicle along with IPRC and the chair on, chairman of the Mission Readiness Review, which reviewed the systems, really I feel so happy and satisfied on this occasion that we have accomplished a major achievement and it is going to records of the ISRO. And on this occasion, let me congratulate and compliment all the ISRO team members our partners from industry and other organizations and our family members. Thank you, Jai Hind. See, this mission had a very unique two inertial systems, one in the vehicle, one in the crew module. Both were operated 
uh, very very successfully has a very unique way of two separate automatic launch sequence also running to make these two separate computational system work uh, synchronously and this uh, initial system is made out of the MEMS based uh, initial navigation system so done by Indian uh, ISRO initial systems units is director Sri Palpa Kumar. Thank you sir. Thank you the entire ISRO team for uh, making the first step of uh, Gaganyan journey so perfect by a successful simulation of a uh, failure uh, recovery uh, condition. And I am very happy to say that uh, all the inertia systems work perfectly fine. We had around uh, 12 uh, accelerometers and 15 gyros in this entire system, in two systems, uh, one in a uh, test vehicle and the other in crew module. And uh, I am happy to report that uh, the entire system worked uh, perfectly. Uh, so we have started the journey for the Gaganyan. And uh, I wish all the best for uh, all of us for that uh, first mission of uh, Gaganyan that is planned in the next year. Thank you. Thank you all and congratulations. And to finally to conclude, the chief of this center, Sadish Thawan Space Center, uh, Sri Rajarajan, who is the chairman of the launch authorization board, who prepared new facilities and new equipments to assemble this rocket and make it ready for the launch. Over to you. Thank you, chairman. A very good morning and uh, an excellent and good house to the entire team ISRO and all the people who are doing an excellent job like think, pause and then start again. And a very good beginning. Well done. Actually at this center all the facilities have converged from various facilities, stakeholders and last three months we had an excellent test check and it gives a very good confidence to start the Gaganyan program in right earnest to hand a, achieving such a milestone and lot of activities are carried out in the new facilities of STC Shah where all the facilities of crew escape system modules and even TV vehicle has been checked and thoroughly along with all other programs and it is a very good beginning and gives lot of confidence keep it up we will have a wonderful time again to have a successful Gaganyan missions in the times again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, I will also uh, wish to congratulate the vehicle director and also the, the chief of the design team for the rest of the vehicle elements, which is uh, uh, the avionics, the mechanisms, all done by a group called HTDG. So congratulations to them as well. So the currently you can see in the video the uh, the team is approaching uh, for the recovery of the crew module. So we'll come back with more visuals of those aspects of recovery as well as bringing to the port a little later and that will be posted through our uh, other media. So we stop the transmission now and thank you so much for joining this uh, launch and waiting till this much of time with us uh, to handle the hold and recovery operations as well. Uh, so we have started the journey of the Gaganyan with this uh, main uh, launch of the test vehicle about sequence and this will be repeated multiple times at a different conditions and also we'll have an unmanned crew, as a crew mission, unmanned uh, Gaganyan uh, vehicle mission soon, the beginning of the next year. Until then, uh, goodbye from Sadir Saman Space Center. Thank you so much.